What's up, guys? This is Damien with Hosh Online. And today, I know know that we took a look at Jelly Bean on an Nexus S 4G before, but there, there was pretty much nothing was working on it. I mean, there was no Wi-Fi, there was no audio. This is almost a fully working Jelly Bean port uh, brought to you by HP 420. Uh, so we want to give mad props out to HP 420 for making our Nexus S 4Gs awesome once again. And uh, the ROM is called the JRN 84D 4.1 Jelly Bean with the MMS, MMS fix available. Which, you know, for me, I don't really need it because this Nexus S4G has long been since uh, decommissioned. I, I don't use this. I don't even have voice service on this. So basically, I'm on Wi-Fi and, you know, Google Voice and all those hacks to be able to get it to work. But I just want to feature uh, some of the things in Jelly Bean that we couldn't do before because, uh, you know, Wi-Fi didn't work. So, you know, the, the first thing I want to bring up is the new notifications panel. And I, I love the notification panel now because it allows you to really not have to open apps as often as before. Now, I love my apps. I love my Android apps. But at the same time, you know, I, you don't want to keep opening up the emails, you know, for, for one uh, email that's, that's pretty much spam. I got to open up my whole app because of this one spam email so now I can you, you can't really see it now because uh, I haven't been getting any emails but you can drag down certain notifications and it'll bring you a, a pretty much a overview of what you just got so on emails you'll be able to look at like the specific emails and get a, a glimpse of what that email is instead of have to, having to open up the full app I love that let's get to project butter because I, the, the last part that we're going to talk about is Google Now. And Google Now is going to pretty much take up the remainder of the video. So, and it's so awesome. But uh, Project Butter works flawlessly on the Nexus S4G. Um, it really does feel like it's a brand new device. Um, you know, I, I, I play with the Samsung Galaxy S3 a lot. That's probably my number one phone that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I also use the Evo 4G LT, maybe not as much, but, you know, just slightly less than the Galaxy S3. And those are both very powerful devices. This device, I mean, it's hard, hard in regular everyday life to tell the difference as far as speed. I mean, this thing, it just blazes. Kudos out to Google because Project Now, I'm sorry, uh, Project Butter is definitely something that's been needed for a while. It, it, it's running flawlessly, almost like a brand new device. Uh, it even inspired me to want to get the Galaxy Nexus, which I never was really feeling the Galaxy Nexus, but I, I'm going to hold off on that. I don't think I'm going to get a Galaxy Nexus. Nexus. I'm going to probably wait till December when the new uh, Nexus is revealed and... Uh, even though that's probably, you know, Nexuses don't really, they're not cutting edge, edge technology most of the time, but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and bite the, for the next release. Uh, because, I mean, just getting the updates at, at first before everyone else, it's just, man, because I'm really, I'm hating on you guys who have Galaxy Nexuses and uh, you guys have Jelly Bean. Even though this is, but this is a hack version on the Nexus S4G. It should be released sometime this month. Uh, but this still is a hack version uh, until and I won't be able to fully experience or, or you either. If you don't have a Galaxy device, you won't be able to fully experience Jelly Bean unless you have a Galaxy device. Uh, I'm sorry, a Nexus device uh, and maybe the Nexus 7, which should be here any day. So look for a video uh, out on that pretty soon unboxing and we'll go through that whole thing. But back to the Nexus S4G. It, it's it, the project butter is awesome uh, you know what I want to feature one more thing the camera so the camera app now it's a picture of my beautiful wife let's see can we get it okay so if you now you can zoom out just by the two fingers and scrolling left and right so that's pretty awesome and then so that's pretty awesome. I love that. But to the biggest thing, and we'll get to that from the lock screen, Google Now. And and Google Now is just so awesome. I got a few questions I want to ask, and you know, that way you guys will be able to test out. Uh, we'll be able to see how awesome Google Now is. If you've been watching and paying attention, you know that 
Google now is awesome and you've probably seen a video maybe two videos maybe three on how awesome it is but we're gonna do another one so how tall is Tyson Gay Where is the Empire State Building located? Getting directions. Do a barrel roll. Is Android better than the iPhone? Is the iPhone better than Android? Show me pictures of the Lincoln Monument. Show me pictures of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What is the best selling book on zombies? So, as you can see, I mean, this has the potential to be extremely useful because it does work and you got to keep in mind that this is a hacked version of jelly bean and google now therefore uh, on the nexus s4g so i expect that you know the official versions will you know that are supported right now the nexus 7 the galaxy nexus or whenever they get around to releasing uh the update for the nexus s and nexus s4g that you know it, it'll be pretty good and extremely awesome all kinds of awesome so well definitely expect that um other than that this rom is definitely a pretty good rom uh, now it does tend to have a problem with wi-fi but i've downloaded wi-fi fixer from the uh play store and it seems to have uh, stabilized it for the most part and also uh there is no working ymax 4g on this ROM, this ROM. So if you're a big WiMAX or 4G user, uh, you definitely want, definitely want to keep that in mind. There's also no uh, working face unlock or GPS lock. GPS lock that might be a you know a biggie for some of you um, who are using your Nexus S4G on a regular basis. So you know those are things to just keep in mind. But other than that, this ROM is definitely a great ROM, uh, and you're getting the latest version of Android, which is in itself pretty awesome um stability wise i haven't had any problems at all with it uh no force closes uh no hiccups no uh, uh random reboots or restarts nothing like that so you're you might you probably will be happy with this rom um uh, if you can live without those uh non-working uh conditions that i stated a little bit earlier but it, it's a pretty awesome awesome rom guys this is brought to you by HP 420. He's the developer of this ROM, so hit that thanks button on XDA if you're trying to if you're going to install this on your Nexus S4G. And this has been Damien with Hosh Online. Maybe I'll do an install video, guys, for you guys. Uh, it's pretty simple, you know, the standard boot into recovery and flash this thing. But you know, I might might if if you guys request it, I'll put up a video on how to install this ROM on your Nexus S4G. But uh, until then. This has been Damien with Tasha Online, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.